It's raining, but Fabio's here. Bunny! <laughs> Hi! Oh my god! It's raining. Hey guys, today's video we're gonna be traveling to Italy. So if you're new to this channel, this is Yanni and Fabio Travel Channel. It's all about travel. 2020 was supposed to be our one year world tour around the world. However, we all know that the pandemic happened and we all took a break. We put it on hold. We came from Southeast Asia. If you guys wanna watch all our vlogs, we toured Southeast Asia. We pretty much seen everything, most of it. So if you guys do the math, it's been three months since we haven't seen each other and today, I am finally heading to Italy. Also, if you are curious, if you're Canadian and you're wondering where you could travel right now, on Air Canada website, there's a link at the top of the page. You can click that link and it will tell you all the countries that you can go to. There's quite a lot, mostly in Europe, Sweden, Denmark, Greece, Italy, Spain actually is open, and Germany, I think, I believe. So this is going to be my first time flying after the lockdown, after the pandemic. Italy right now, just an update, is on phase three, meaning all bars, restaurants are open. However, everybody is still practicing social distancing, I think, I hope. My plan was to just to fly to Italy just to be together with Fabio. My plan also is to learn Italian. Let's see how, we'll see how that goes. I took some classes. My little knowledge of Spanish helps a little bit. I can understand some of it and I can just distinguish the words basing on Spanish. I'm so excited. Fabio, here I come. So we're going to be traveling Italy a little bit. We're planning to do a lot of road trips. So if you guys want to see all that, subscribe to this channel right now. It's been a while since I dragged this suitcase somewhere. <laughs> to the airport and as expected it is so quiet <laughs> yeah there you go. sounds good okay and you're all set and security just through there thank you so much thank you. bye now bye so the lounge is closed so I'm gonna go back down to the waiting area. So those are literally the only flights that are flying today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight flights. Okay, so I made it past security. I made it past customs. I got my boarding pass. I couldn't have it on my phone. I couldn't check in online because they told me that I would have to check in my carry-on because the airplane that I'm flying with, they prevent people from putting their baggages on the overhead baggage because I think because of the pandemic, I was only allowed to carry one bag which is my tech backpack we're not gonna do a lot of traveling because technically there's still a virus going on you guys it's still scary i'm still scared it's still surreal that i'm already here at the airport for the past few days i wasn't really excited because something could happen to the flight during pandemic i'm used to it before we ended the world tour Hey guys, boarding time, four hours later, boarding time. Okay guys, so I made it on board. I have eight hours flight to Munich, one hour stopover, and then Milan. See you in Munich. So eight hours later, just landed in Munich. I have one hour layover. That means one hour to connect my next flight to Milan. This airport is also very empty. There's barely anyone here. That's actually quite a lot of flights compared to Toronto, which is just nine flights. So I'm heading to my gate now. It's G15. Also, just a quick review during the flight. Everybody was seated a seat apart at least, or I had the whole row to myself. There's definitely more people in this airport 
than Toronto Airport. I guess it's because it's Europe, there's more flight open. But I'm just here trying to keep my social distance. So I can hug Fabio. <laughs> Comment below if you experience this as well, if you're wearing glasses. All right, you guys, I just landed in Milan. Fabio is not picking me up in this airport, so I had to take a shuttle two hours to the airport because this airport is actually two hours away from his town. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for the shuttle. I don't know where to go. Okay, you guys, so I landed safely. I am enjoying my first cappuccino. Update, Fabio is not picking me up until 5 p.m., so I have four hours again to wait at the airport. And on top of that, I have to bus from this airport to go to the next airport, which is Oreo Airport, because that is the closest to their hometown. It's only 10 minutes away from his hometown or his house. My bus is at 2, it's 12 right now, so I have two hours to wait. The bus ride is two hours, so four hours total, and he will meet me there. Hopefully, he'll find me because I have no Wi Fi. <laughs> Once I leave this airport, I have no Wi Fi. Um, yeah, so I'm just chilling, enjoying my first coffee, cappuccino. The flight coming from Germany to Milan, it was very tight. The flight was full and it was a small aircraft. So everybody was literally close to each other. Everybody was wearing a mask. So I guess that's the balance is out. I don't know. Also, I was expecting they were going to ask me, interrogate me a lot of questions when I enter Milan. But the moment I entered Milan, they just asked all the passenger on the plane to fill out the declar health declaration form. So I think the declaration form also says that I have to quarantine for 14 days and they asked for the address where I'm going to be quarantining at. I'm not sure if they're going to check on me. <laughs> So that means I cannot go out the house, otherwise they would have to find me and deport me, I think. And one of my fears as well, because I have no return flight home, I only bought one way ticket. I know I'm allowed in Italy for 90 days, but beyond that, I have to file, I have to apply for a visa. So hopefully within the three months that I'm allowed in Italy, I think we're going to make a trip to different countries. So that, I think that starts it over the countdown for the time limit that i can be here in italy yeah i'll update you guys later when i'm on the shuttle uh my shuttle is at 2 45 it's 12 45 exact so this is my bus i have to take it all the way to oreo oreo not the biscuit <laughs> but oreo airport so this airport is close to fabio's hometown Okay, so two hours later, I arrived in this airport called or Oreo, Oreo Airport, and I'm waiting on Fabio. He said he'll pick me up here. He is not here yet. I slept in the bus. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting on Fabio, you guys. You know what I realized? Traveling is really for me because I can spend time sitting in the bus, in airplanes, airports, without getting bored and I'm just doing my own things. I am just so excited to see Fabio, he's taking forever. He had a doctor's appointment because he had a, he had to do a checkup on his back because it's been hurting if you guys are following our vlog. I think we mentioned it before. I don't remember what his car looks like. Yeah, I don't know what his car <laughs> looks like. But yeah, he should be able to find me here. The airport is not that big. I can't wait to eat dinner and just drink wine tonight. I'm just gonna dine in. Where the heck is he? He's probably stuck. He's still probably at the hospital. I think I remember his car color is blue, green, or light blue. It's been four years. I've been here before. I've met his parents, his family four years ago when I came to visit. It's raining, but Fabio's here. Bunny! <laughs> Hi! Oh my god! It's raining! I, I didn't want to kiss you because of the virus, but you kissed me. That's your fault. <laughs> it's raining, wait! Help! Oh my god, he's here, bitch! Oh my god, we're together! <laughs> Finally! How are you? How was your flight? You're Hi, so Bunny. beautiful! Fabio's here! <laughs> oh my gosh, how was your flight? I got you a mask for my mom. Oh really? She made masks. Oh, that's yeah. super sweet of her. I'm good. I'm. It, it's been just forever today. It's been like a struggle. Did you lose weight? I did, yes. You did, didn't you? Yeah. 
I'm still fat now though. I'm still fat, but... <laughs> Bunny, we're here! I was telling the vlog how I couldn't remember the color of your car and what it looks like <laughs> and the made of it. But I do remember it being blue. Yes. A little bit blue, it's a little bit green. It's kind of like gray. Gray, yeah, I guess. But here we are! We're here, guys! Finally, get ready because a million vlogs are about to come. Oh my Let God. me tell you. Travel, all the fun stuff. Uh, you look so tan! You are black. I'm black. I'm dark. I think I, made, I messed it up. <laughs> you don't know where to go. It's okay, take your this time. This is a new road. So we're on our way to his house now and that's where we're gonna be staying at. They didn't mention anything at the airport about quarantine. So I, they just said in the paper that I would have to quarantine myself for 14 days. Yeah. And they asked for your address in the paper. I put it in the paper, but I'm not sure if they're gonna keep on knocking at your house. Yes, and if you don't do it, you can go to prison. Yeah, so I'll just quarantine for two weeks then. No traveling for two weeks, but it's okay. You know what? At least our world tour year is kind of still going. We're here, we're gonna explore Italy-ish. We're gonna show you what quarantine is like here. Yeah, so this is Fabius town. We're in Fabius town now. It's a small town. He should tell it. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful town actually. It's, it's small but very pretty with a river around it, around the old downtown area. Maybe we'll dedicate a whole vlog just to explore the yeah. town. It used to be a castle at first. That's where downtown is. And then we live just on the outside of it. Okay, here we go. So we're going in the castle and show them. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wow. The best gelateria. Gelato. Oh, gelato. The best gelato in town. We'll drive past my parents' butchery store. Butchery shop. Oh, I remember. I remember this town four years ago. I remember that. It's another part. And your shop is here. Right? No. Your shop yeah. is here somewhere. Wow. Fabio's popular. You know everybody. This is our shop, guys. Oh, is it closed already? Yeah. It doesn't open in the afternoons. Oh. Because uh, my dad has to prepare all the meat. It's a very cute, historic town in Italy, right? That's how. That's yes. how we would describe it. And there's the river. The river goes through around the town. So that's pretty much the downtown area. That's it. Yeah. That's all the downtown area. And now here we go, that's my street. Yeah, we're heading to Fabio's home now, which is just right here. There we go. Here we go, the yellow. Oh my gosh, it's been forever since I'm here. I know. <laughs> Do they still remember me? Do your dog still remember me? I I'm shy because I can't speak Italian. I wish I could okay. communicate. Fabio, don't. Do you want to close awkward. it here? And here we are guys, <laughs> uh, we're at home. We're here in our nice apartment upstairs. So my family lives in the middle floor and my brothers too. There's two different areas of the house. Downstairs it was where we eat all together and upstairs here is where we have our own space. So uh, it's beautiful. Are we showing them now? It's huge. Maybe later. Yeah, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do another vlog. We'll do a, a good uh, room tour yeah, very, very soon. We just got, we're gonna have coffee. Yeah, we're gonna have coffee, water, and catch chill up. a bit, and catch up. Bye, guys! Bye, guys! <laughs> Aww.